Hey guys, so here I have a brand new candle of the week, Tree V for you burning here downstairs, and it's the 14.5 ounce for Tropical Spice semi-annual sale edition. Perfection, I mean, it's just the best. It's so beautiful, I'm so stoked. So let me go ahead and read the description and then just take it from there. So this one says, an exotic blend of cinnamon bark, spiced rum, and Tahitian vanilla. So, don't really want to dwell too much in the past, but I just have to say, I have to, like, this scent burned terribly earlier this year, like, low flames, no throw, eventually leading back to the store. But with this one, it's back to basics. Like, they've listened to the fans, and now the candle is just amazing. This is the tropical spice I know and love. I remember it came out 2010, burned through a ton of them, and they all burned like this. Like, this is just perfect. So, it's just great. I'm happy. And I'm going to go back and stock up. So you know how I do it. But yeah, I'm going to do that. So first things first, as you can see, flawless perfection. The burn is just perfect. I mean, look at it. Nice, deep, even wax pool. The um, flames are just wicked. These are wicked flames dancing crazy, viciously, tall and high and proud. Look at that. I love it. It's just so pretty, especially at like nighttime. The color, it's beautiful. And the flame, or the flames, the wicks actually formed a mushroom top. The mush and I'll just show you really quickly since you can really like see the detail right now. So here's an overhead view of it. Check it out. See like those thick like balls on top of the wick? That's a mushroom top. And that mushroom top helps to ensure that the flames are going to get, as you can see, bigger, thicker, wider. Um, ensuring that the um, wax pull just goes melts out evenly and quicker too. So I love that. And this is actually a second day burn. So I burned it yesterday and it's been perfect ever since. Love that. The wicks are actually my favorite type of wicks. If you get this candle and look at the wicks, they're a um, decent sized straw colored wick. And these wicks never give me problems. Never, ever, ever, never. It's just always great. So love the wicks. And, um, for those of you that are always asking me, do you ever trim your wicks? Do you keep them the way they are? Um, it's kind of like embedded in my brain to like trim the wicks. And I'll tell you what. If you get a candle that has wicks that are kind of like super short and stubby already, you don't really need to trim them. It's kind of your own personal judgment. But when you get wicks that are kind of like long and they just like look long to you, trim them to half of what they are. And... Let the candle just burn out, and hopefully you'll see that even wax pull. Like, lately the candles have been really good so far, so you really don't have to worry about, you know, well, can't really say that, but you know, you don't really have to worry about tunneling and all that, because, again, the candles are just great this year. Ending of this year, I should say. So, just trim them and see what happens. I mean, I know some people don't, some people do, personal preference, but I like them. I like them trim, so that's just what I do. So, um, everything... This one kind of took a while. It took about maybe 40 to 45 minutes to pull out, but the scent was instant. Like, I got scent within, I'm going to say, 10 minutes after it was lit. So, super strong and potent. Love that. And yeah, the performance is just overall amazing. And the throw. This candle is great. It's throwing all the way upstairs. It's here downstairs burning. Um, it's just a great throwing candle. It's not really choking me out because of pleasant. The pleasant. The scent is rather pleasant, but um, it's still really strong. You can smell it all over, so great scent throw action. Love it. Now the scent. To me, the scent, it's pretty much the notes describe it accurately. This is like an accurate um, noted candle. Cinnamon bark, absolutely. Um, you get that heavy rum. Heavy, heavy rum notes. So I love that. And the vanilla in it, it just kind of like evens it out. It makes it kind of like, gives it a creamy tone, but then it gives it like a sweet fruity tone too. Not from the vanilla, but there is like some kind of like fruity tone. And it's not an actual fruit. I'd say it's like a fruit juice tone I'm getting. So I really like that. And it's just overall amazing. I love Tropical Spice. And I was told that these scents were not going to um, make it through 
the season, meaning that these are semi-annual sale, official only. Some like, God, you don't know what you have until it's gone, right? I mean, I've done my part. I buy them in bulk, so, but I guess they just weren't selling. So, you know, the seven cents that came back, as you all know, Seaside Escape, Tropical Spice, um, Caribbean Sauce, and the rest of them, they're not going to last until, you know, the next semi-annual sale. So, if you love them, grab them up, because chances are they're not going to be around for too much longer. And if they are, hey, great. So, that's pretty much it for the review. I'm going to give you a little sneak peek to my um, semi-annual sale part two. Licky, licky, licky. Leaves, cedarwood, oak, and farm apple cookie. I love, like, going into my store and pretending it's an actual test store. I'm like, going to the test store, going to see what they have. It's like not a test store, but, you know, having test sense there makes me call it a test store. And it's like, kind of fun, you know? So I ended up getting a ton of stuff yesterday. Um, nothing too, like, thrilling. I wish I could have grabbed, like, some sweater weather candles, but, you know, I take what I get. And some of the stuff I don't love, but, I mean, it's a test and so I just had to have it, you know. So that's that. And I don't know if you guys caught when, but a few of the um, online classics, like the Cotton Blossom, Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, what's that other one, Creamy Coconut, Brown Sugar, just a few of them are actually 75% off, so that's like super clearance, like two bucks, 250 or 237, whatever they are. And I don't know what that means, but in my book, that means they are goners. So I knew about this a few week or two ago, but I'm gonna be honest with you, and nothing personal, just business, I kinda wanted to buy it all up <laughs> and then like tell you guys after. So again, nothing personal, just business. So if you love those classics online, make sure you grab them up and enjoy them. I just don't know. Maybe it could be like a, a nice thing that they're doing for the sale. But to me, that means they're out of here. They're going to get canned. And just let's pray I'm wrong. Seriously. And just very quickly, you guys got to, I mean, if you love it, you have to buy it. Like, I know that some of you buy what you need, but when they go on sale or when, you know, stock gets low it's it's really time to buy because when no one buys it if it doesn't move they can not it and these are classics already so the next move for a classic is basically just out of here completely so just a little food for thought and hopefully if you guys like it buy it <laughs> so it's my take on that and also a lot of you have been talking about my um chocolate bacon cupcake candles you guys are like I want that and I want this and I want that I am totally down to do a swap but hmm, how can I say this there's something specific that I want and that I've been eyeing forever I um I've seen it in Tristan Shack's video and I believe sent my way had it too like way back when like one of her first um candle collection videos I want that garden cucumber candle I want it it's a Yankee candle look I don't care if it's a jar tumbler whatever I want a large jar or a two wick tumbler and garden cucumber that's what I want that's what I need I want it period I just I want that candle so if you guys can get a hold of that candle get your hands on it let's swap I'm willing to swap out um, what's some rare stuff you guys have been asking me about? I'm willing to let go of one of my Dark Kiss candles. I'm willing to let go of a chocolate bacon cupcake or two. I'm willing to let go of, hmm, pretty much anything I have 20 of. <laughs> so yeah, if I have duplicates up the yin yang of it, I'll take care of you. I'll swap you out. Seriously, I'm ready to go. I like rambled for 10 minutes on like one video. Let me get out of here. I'm going to go hop in the shower. Enjoy the New Year's Eve festivities. So happy. It's like 2013 pretty much, right? So excited. So went to a little get together. I feel kind of festive and fun tonight. So I'm going to use my little Jingle Bellini. All that action. And yeah, so let me get out of here. Let you guys go. 
have a happy new year love you all so much comment rate and subscribe of course and um yeah thanks for watching guys we're we've made it through 2012 and very quickly if i've offended anyone or you know any bad blood between any of you i apologize let's start the new year fresh and just go from there so again that's it thank you so much god bless you all and i'll talk to you all soon thanks and happy new year <laughs> all right love you much bye bye guys